What is going on, everybody? This is Brandon from Bricks. So, uh, <laughs> I I recorded another video, and I, I've chosen not to post it. I'll just do it in this video. <laughs> so, I've been going through the Bricklink Designer Program Series 2. Uh, this would mark video number 6, actually, out of 8. Uh, there are a lot of sets to go through. And I've been having fun. There are some phenomenal sets. There's definitely like two or three that I'm just jacked. The the museum one uh, with the architecture comes to mind. Like, I want that set. Like, I want that set. Um, but anyways, that being said, so I go to uh, record video number six. And I accidentally closed the tab. Well, the problem with that is I was going through, you know, one after another on the uh, page six. And if I close the tab, then it goes random again. So I'd have to go all the way through all those pages, figure out which ones I did do. There's an easy button. There's a bypass button. Let me show you what the bypass button is. All right, so here we're going to get into this. All right, so here we go. Brickling Designer Program 2. Scroll down a little bit. If you go to Show Filters, instead of going to All, just go to the ones that I haven't voted on yet. And look, that narrows it down to 71 designs. So, hey, we're back at this, guys. Let's do this. Let's finish up this project. Uh, good Lord. All right, so... Next on the list is we have a red pickup truck. I will be absolutely honest. This does nothing for me. In terms of Lego builds, uh, there's some pretty impressive builds. So this has got to be... It looks cool. Uh, I think it could be... Uh, I think it, you... It could be better. So, uh, you're well on your way. I just, I think it could be better. Uh, classic racer, 1 out of 10. Uh, this, I actually like it. I'm not a big race car driver. Actually, I'm going to not for me. I'm sorry. So, I'm going to not for me at, just simply because I'm thinking about some of the race cars they've come out with. And I think this could be a little bit better too. But, uh, man, I'm harsh. Uh, like I always say, guys, don't take this personally. I am a guy. You don't even know who I am. My my opinion of this stuff means nothing. So if you see this video and I down play yours, just don't take it personally. Uh, Merchant's Hideaway. Um, I kind of like the concept of this, not necessarily the execution, though. So uh, The Fishing Kinetic Sculpture. If this does what I think it does, and it does, he is fishing. I love this. Like, my brother needs this. He is an avid fisherman. Uh, modular school with playgrounds. So, if you've seen my video about the education system in the United States of America, uh, then you know. In fact, we're going to go on a quick tour. I'm going to belabor a point I already made. Probably twice. I can't point the camera to the floor or else you'll see the secret project. So that's the school that they came out with here like a year ago. And I just am so unimpressed with it. There are aspects that I like. Like the rock wall is cool. The hopscotch thing is cool. The flag is cool. But overall, like that school is a joke. That's not a knock on Lego. I just, like I said in the last video, it kind of points to how we value education uh to some degree whereas whoever did the uh the art school i can't remember who it was like this is sick like this is a school size does matter but the investments you make in it matter too so anyways let me close all the doors sorry for all the squeakiness and we will get back to evaluating this school all right so modular school with playground i am gonna love this because i need to upgrade my school system in brick sand city i have to 
Uh, so this one was one one's last time, I believe. And I have to say, I really like it. Um, it, it reminds me of the Smurfs. It really does. So, all right, keep going. Fifth level burr. I, I don't get that one. Uh, it doesn't excite me. It's kind of neat, but, um. I'll have to figure out what that means. Uh, the last arcade. Let's open this one up. I, th I think we know where we're going with this one. Uh, I'm a succular. Uh, I'm a succular. I'm a sucker for modulars, guys. You know that already. Uh, always looking to improve. Uh, improve the city. All right. So there's an air hockey table. Uh, uh, ski ball machine it looks like one of the claw grab games counter with all the prizes this is cool Oops. okay we got uh ninjago fighters attaboy we got the boxing game monster fighters race card game yeah, this this is another one. Uh, oh, we got Pac-Man. We got a foosball table. Did I say foosball or air hockey? We got Dance Dance Revolution, Tetris. Uh, oh, what was that game called back in the 80s? I want to say RC Pro-Am, but that's not right. I'm going to have to do some research on that. That Dance Dance Revolution is cool. Like, yes, yeah, so we need this. Okay. Guys, this is my new number two. Uh, I love that museum. This is number two. So, uh, oh, did, no, I did it again. Oh, Lego, please choose that. Uh, Black Falcon Knight. I like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, not for me. Um, an Indian Fort. Okay, so this would be Indian as in the Orient, not Indian as in North America. Uh, by Sinbad, I like it, it is, quite frankly, it, it's, ah, I love it, if it comes due, I'm buying it, if it doesn't, I'm not going to be disappointed, uh, a temporary restaurant, I'm not sure what that is, coffee spot cafe, it's all right, all right, indoors mine, we're kind of cruising right through here, guys, uh, it's kind of a neat build. Like it. Uh, an Imperial Brig. I feel like we're due for some cool pirate stuff out of the designer program. Uh, I know that we're getting the Eldorado Fortress this summer. Uh, but we haven't gotten any other pirate stuff. Uh, Medieval Street. So, this is, I'm going to echo what I said in a previous video. Like... I, I just can't believe Lego doesn't go down the rabbit hole of creating a line of castle modulars. They've done the Ninjago modulars. They obviously do the regular modulars. Why not expand that world into the pirate and the medieval uh, modulars as well? It, it, it only makes sense. Uh, Golden Tiger versus Silver Panther. That's not for me, but it, it is a neat build. Uh, Chinese restaurant. I need a Chinese restaurant for sure. I haven't done the noodle shop yet, but I think I'm going to. Uh, the Albatross. This isn't what my cup of tea, but it's a neat build as well. This is cool. Um, okay, I'm going to love this. That's probably in my top 10, but my number two, one and number two, they are locked in uh, with with the exception of something massive uh, being in the next two and a half pages. So, eight stud wide city bus. Uh, I think it's well on its way. I don't think it's quite what I'd want it to be, but uh, it's not bad. Narrow gauge steam train. I've already talked about this. I'm not a train guy, guys. Uh, Glass Studio. Okay. This was one of the ones last time that I was so in on. 
this is probably in my top three. Um, I laugh because I just said my number one and number two are locked in, and then here it comes in the next row. Like, I love this set. Like, this is so, so cool. I didn't give it this due credit the first time around looking at it, and then I took a deeper dive and I fell in love with it. So, Lego, seriously, this one, this one, this one. No pressure, but you have your three that I have to have this next time. Uh, Frog Coach Motor Coaches, or Frog Company Motor Coaches. Uh, we'll pass on that. Beauty of football. So as an American, you guys all know, I'm not a football guy. I am a uh, American football guy. Uh, I know we're the minority. but So I'm going to give it a like. It, it's, it, we'll think of it as a sympathy like. Because I'm an uncultured, unfootball guy. Sorry. But, uh, hey, that wraps up video number six. We have two more to go. Um, we're going to hurry up and get these done. And we'll get them posted. They're all going to go out next week sometime. Uh, so when you're seeing this, it's actually going to be like almost the 1st of July, to be honest with you. Uh, that's how many I've done. Uh It'll probably be like the 27th or 28th ish, give or give or take. Uh, I just have to get a bunch of them done before we head off to help my wife get her pharmacy degree done. So her degree is done. The test is not done. That's tomorrow and in real time. So, all right, we will see you next time, my friends.